What up y'all, it's your boy Mace by AP, back with another video. As you can tell by the title, this week's lesson is Reverb 101. So in this lesson, I basically am gonna go deeper into, you know, the Reverb plugin. I'm gonna show you guys the industry sauce, the industry secrets, the kind of some basic rules to uh, using Reverb the right way. And this is gonna help your mixes sound more industry level and professional. And you already know Reverb is one of the most important plugins because it's like that sauce that, you know, every vocal, every rapper uses. If you're new to my channel, I teach people how to mix, master, and record at a professional level on Logic Pro X by using all the stock free plugins. And I also offer more advanced lessons uh, using Pro Tools by using all the more advanced industry plugins like Waves and Fab Filter and stuff. So, you know, I offer a little bit of something for everybody no matter what level you're at. Beginner engineers all the way up to advanced engineers. So, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. I don't know what you're doing. What are you waiting for? Hit that button. And this is kind of a continuation of last week's video where I showed you guys how to create buses and how to attach reverbs to it and send your vocals to the same reverb bus. Um, and now we're just gonna show you guys kind of that next step on perfecting the reverb and making that reverb perfect for those vocals. So if you haven't watched last week's video, you probably should watch that unless you already know how to create buses perfectly and stuff like that, then you're good. So right here I have some vocals already kind of, you know, they have some light auto-tune, compression, all that stuff, we're focusing on reverbs. So I have these two buses already created, bus one and bus two. They're already linked up to our vocals. All we have to do is add the reverb. So first I'm gonna tell you guys some of the industry secrets on what these high, high level engineers do to kind of make sure that they have the perfect reverb and that they create a new type of secret sauce that you can barely even hear, right? And as always guys, you know, these videos take time to film, edit, and upload and stuff like that. So the one thing I really ask is that you just smash that like button for your boy. It really helps me out and helps this channel grow and stuff. So, you know, I'd really appreciate it. So one thing that these engineers do is they actually put two reverbs on a vocal. So rather than just having one set reverb that is just overpowering the vocals, they actually put two reverbs and kind of get that same effect without the unprofessional sound drowning out of reverb, you know? And that's also one of the things that you wanna make sure you're not doing. You don't wanna add too much reverb on any vocals. So I'm gonna show you guys what this these vocals sound like right now with nothing. Love scars, you broke my heart and you left love scars. I said I love you, didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I have these two buses because we're gonna use two reverbs today. And that's what most industry level engineers do. They put two reverbs on a vocal. This first aux, I'm gonna tell you guys that you want to find a reverb. Okay, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna maybe go to space designer okay and for this first reverb you want to think of some sort of like deeper uh reverb that kind of focuses more on the mids and the lows and i'm gonna find i'm gonna go to large spaces i'm gonna go to plate reverbs and i'm gonna use vocal plate and that's a good one to start off with i mean i always go towards the vocal plates for that first reverb which is going to be like a subtle one right so the first reverb you want to think like subtle you want to think um you want to think of something that you can kind of throw on there and some people might not even realize that it's there it's kind of just it's not like this it's not like this big chamber it's more of like this light you know subtle sound that can blend in with your mix right so these are this is supposed to make these vocals wider while blending in with the mix so that people can't even tell that there's really reverb on it it should not it should never overpower the vocals so vocal plate i'm gonna raise it a little bit and i'm gonna go down to this and i'm gonna rename this your front verb front verb okay and that's the 
reverb that's kind of like in the forefront uh, blending in. So when you're mixing your reverb, there's two tricks that I always do to make sure that I'm getting the perfect amount, okay? I'm gonna mute this beat because sometimes when the beat is playing with the reverb and you're adding the reverb, you're gonna add extra extra so that you can hear it through the beat. And that's not always what you wanna do. You wanna first mute the beat and you wanna play these vocals and you wanna manipulate the levels to see where it's kind of creeping in. You wanna actually hear the reverb creeping in, creeping in, creeping in, and you wanna wanna isolate it with the vocals so that you know that you're not adding too much. Make sure that it doesn't overpower the vocals, even when it's muted. Love scars, you broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, it didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah. yeah. Mother's love scars. You broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, it didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah. yeah. Mother's love scars. You broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, it didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart, yeah. So now you can hear that reverb, it sounds good. It, it just made those vocals wider without overpowering. So now we're gonna move on to the second bus over here. And this second bus, you wanna think, okay, so that sauce. That sauce that is like that reverb that you can kind of, you know, hear, but you're going to make sure that it's also light. So now the mixture of these two reverbs actually create some, some sauce to the voice. And this is like where a lot of engineers get creative. You know, you always get creative with these reverbs, you know, maybe some filters, stuff like that. This is where we kind of are able to use our judgment and, and create new sounds from what artists give us. Right? So I'm gonna go back to Space Designer again. I'm gonna add it on this second bus. And this time we're thinking, remember, halls, maybe medium spaces. Let's see if they have, uh, let's see. I like medium, Prince Hall. That kind of sounds cool. Let's try this, let's try it. Let's see what it sounds like. Love scars, you broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, it didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah, yeah. Mother's love scars, you broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, it didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah, yeah. Mother's love scars. You broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, it didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah. yeah. You hear that, right? Sauce. That's the sauce. Okay. We're going to rename this back verb. And with this second reverb, now we just created some extra some extra something in those vocals that, you know, now you can hear a little bit of that, that, that extra sauce. Now I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna turn it on and off without that second reverb and you're gonna hear the difference. Love scars, you broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, it didn't go far. And this is without. Love scars, you broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, it didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. That shit sounds fire. I still think it might be a little loud. You know, you kind of want to tuck it in the background. You kind of want to use that as your wild card. You want to keep it tucked. And you kind of want to, you want it to creep into the, to the listener's ear kind of subconsciously. Where it's like they don't even really know it's there. They just know that there's something there that's making these vocals like wide and powerful and you know sauced up now we're not done with this just yet on this back verb right here i'm actually gonna add and this is what every engineer does anyways you want to add some sort of 
you know, EQ. You can also add compression and stuff. But for right now, I'm just adding an EQ and I'm going to listen. And for this back verb, I don't want the lows. So I just kind of want the highs from this back, back verb specifically. So I'm going to play it and I'm going to manipulate. And you can EQ reverb. That's a lot, something a lot of people don't do. They don't utilize this tool. They don't EQ reverb. So that's something that you need to start utilizing to your advantage. You can make this reverb sound exactly how you want it. So I'm going to uh, play it again and I'm going to manipulate the EQ on the reverb. Love scars. You broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah. yeah. Mother's love scars. You broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah. yeah. Mother's love scars. You broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah. yeah. Mother's love scars. You broke my heart and it left love scars. I said I loved you, didn't go far. We said forever, but now we're apart. Yeah. yeah. Mother's love scars. You. That's it. That's the reverb we're gonna go with. Yeah, I just took out some of the lows out of that second reverb, and I kind of just left it more in the mid and highs, even if I don't even think there was too many highs, but I just wanted to keep it, keep it clean. You can keep the reverb real clean. We already have this one that allows you to go low, so this one we were just kind of isolating it and letting it stay clean. So now we have reverb on our vocals and I'm going to unmute this beat and I'm going to listen to it again and now this is your second test you now have to listen to the vocals with the reverb with the beat and make sure that everything is blended together perfectly and that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to unmute this beat and I'm going to play it love scars you broke my heart and it left love scars I said I loved you didn't go far we said forever but now we're So as you guys can see, I had to lower the front verb just a little bit, and that's because I could hear it too much and it was too apparent. And that remember that, that's one of your only rules with reverb. There's not many rules in this mixing game. You know, if it sounds good, it sounds good. But one of the key rules to follow is less is more. You don't want to put extra reverb in, in all of these top billboard hits. You don't hear the reverb all the way cranked up like you do in these SoundCloud raps. And you want to remember that. Um, every professional engineer knows that there's a level to reverb that you don't go past and you don't let it overpower the vocals. And that's something that you always want to remember when you're mixing. <clears throat> I hope these little tips helped you guys. I hope you guys go and use reverb in your mixes now the right way. And send me some songs, send me some things that you did using these new uh, tips and remember use two reverbs that's the sauce that's what all these engineers are doing try it and send me some songs that you make I'd love to hear them and I'd love to get some feedback on what you guys did and as always guys you know these videos take time to film edit and upload and stuff like that so the one thing I really ask is that you just smash that like button for your boy it really helps me out and helps this channel grow and stuff so, you know, I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment, and I'll see you guys in next week's video. I'm out.